In March of 1989, the spring break destination of South Padre Island, Texas, was teeming with college students looking for fun and relaxation after grueling semesters. Among the students was Mark Kilroy, a 21-year-old University of Texas pre-med student with a bright future ahead of him. Mark and his friends were there for what promised to be a memorable spring break trip, filled with laughter, parties, and beaches. But what was meant to be a carefree vacation soon turned into a horrifying nightmare that would shock not only the state of Texas, but the entire nation. On the night of March 14, Mark and his friends ventured into Matamoros, Mexico, a popular border town just a short drive away from South Padre Island. Known for its vibrant nightlife, Matamoros had become a hotspot for spring breakers seeking adventure across the border. But unbeknownst to Mark, this trip would mark the last time anyone would see him alive. After an evening of bar hopping, Mark got separated from his friends in the early hours of the morning. His friends searched frantically, but found no sign of him. The next day, they reported him missing, but as the hours turned into days, the gravity of the situation began to sink in. Local authorities on both sides of the border initiated searches, but for days, there were no leads, no clues, nothing to explain Mark's sudden disappearance. As weeks passed, Mark's family was devastated, and his case began garnering national media attention. But it wasn't until almost four weeks later that authorities received the break they needed. A man, part of a local drug smuggling gang, was pulled over at a police checkpoint. What at first seemed like a routine traffic stop soon unraveled into something much darker. The man confessed to being part of a cult, a group that practiced brutal human sacrifices in the belief that these rituals would make them invisible to law enforcement. The cult, known as the Matamoros Cult, operated in a desolate area outside of Matamoros, on a remote ranch that few dared to visit. Led by a charismatic and sadistic figure named Adolfo Constanzo, the cult was a twisted combination of drug trafficking and occult practices. Constanzo had convinced his followers that through grisly rituals and human sacrifices, they would be blessed with supernatural protection, a spellbinding promise that kept the gang obedient to his every command. When police raided the ranch, they made a grim discovery. Inside a blood-stained shed, they found a cauldron filled with blood, animal remains, and human body parts, a sickening testament to the horrors that had taken place there. Among the remains was Mark Kilra's brain, severed as part of a grotesque sacrificial ritual. As investigators searched the grounds, they found more of Mark's body, mutilated beyond recognition. His body had been subjected to unspeakable horrors. The cult had taken him for one of their sacrifices, believing that by killing him in a ritualistic manner, they would gain protection from the police while continuing their drug operations. But Mark was not the only victim. The police uncovered the remains of over a dozen other bodies, all of whom had suffered similarly gruesome fates at the hands of the Matamoros cult. The cult had been operating for months, and their victims were people who had simply been in the wrong place at the wrong time. The news of Mark Kilra's death sent shockwaves through both the United States and Mexico. Parents of college students watched in horror as details of the cult's activities emerged, and the streets of Matamoros became synonymous with fear. How could such a group exist so close to popular tourist destinations? As the investigation unfolded, authorities realized just how deeply ingrained this cult was in the local drug trade. Constanzo, the cult's leader, had grown up in Miami, learning the practices of Palo Mayam, an Afro-Caribbean religion often associated with dark magic. Over time, he merged these rituals with his burgeoning drug empire, creating a cult of fear and power. Constanzo and his followers evaded capture for weeks, hiding out in Mexico City, but their time was running out. In early May, a confrontation with police led Constanzo to order one of his accomplices to shoot him rather than be arrested. His reign of terror ended in a cramped apartment, 
but the scars of his cult's actions remained in the community for years. Mark Kilroy's murder was not just another tragic disappearance. It was a chilling reminder of how close the line between life and death can be. His family, devastated by the loss of their son, would later work to create awareness of such dangers and push for stronger measures to protect those traveling abroad. His memory lives on through scholarships in his name and the collective efforts to make sure such horrors never happen again. Though the Matamoras cult was disbanded and its members brought to justice, the story remains one of the most disturbing true crime cases of the late 20th century. A young man's life was cut short by a deadly combination of superstition, drugs, and a thirst for power. A haunting reminder that evil can hide in the most unexpected places. Mark Kilroy had gone to Mexico to celebrate spring break, but what he encountered was a darkness that no one could have imagined.